Hi Taurus. This is a peek at your partner for the week of September the 11th through September the 17th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Taurus for September the 11th through September the 17th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Taurus for September the 11th through September the 17th, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Taurus for September the 11th through September the 17th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Taurus. <clears throat> Taurus, this is a peek at your partner. So Taurus, your partner has the world. Your partner has the Ace of Wands. Your partner has the Page of Swords. Your partner has the Seven of Wands. And your partner has the Nine of Wands. Wands, Wands, Wands. So Taurus, your partner has the world. You may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Taurus's partner. Clarify the world for Taurus's partner. Clarify the world for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Taurus, listen, you guys may have had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, your partner could tell me that they're pissed and they have an axe to grind here. So Taurus, listen, you guys may have had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on and a cycle is closing out because of it. Or your partner is saying that they're pissed here, okay? And they have an X to grind, so they're closing out this cycle. Your partner could also tell me a cycle is closing out because it was some form of mind games and manipulation. Taurus, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Taurus, listen, you know, very well could be something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack. However, your partner could tell me that this is a breakup. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys broke up because you guys had this passionate communication, a heated discussion or argument. Your partner could tell me you guys broke up because someone started a passionate new beginning. Taurus, your partner could tell me that you guys had this heated discussion or argument over finances here. A lot of back and forth here. 
Taurus, your partner has the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also your partner spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is your partner doing their due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, yes? Or they went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus's partner. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Taurus, your partner could tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. Your partner may be giving something here, receiving something here, or someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So listen, Taurus, your partner could tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication, this back and forth over coins here and the lack thereof. Someone may be being shortchanged here. Or your partner is saying that they went looking and spying and we discovered that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two, starting a passionate new beginning that is causing a breakup. Taurus, your partner has the seven of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense. But this can also speak to them being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So listen, Taurus, your partner could tell me that their standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with you, yes. However, they may be accused here and wanting to come in to explain, give the explanation, excuse, or defense. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the seven of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the freaking five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something. So Taurus, yes, your partner can tell me that they're conflicted within about something. But some type of maybe conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, some type of drama may be taking place here, Taurus. Now, it's either over the coins or over someone giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Taurus, your partner has the nine of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here, Taurus. So Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They don't trust. They have their guard up. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're standing their ground or they're going to be persistent here. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus's partner. Clarify the nine of wands for Taurus's partner. It is clarified with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could tell me that they're being stingy, holding on to their coins, saving their money. Or your partner is saying that they're keeping something close to their chest here. Now, they very well could have been keeping something close to their chest, something they were trying to guard, but maybe it came out here. Maybe you were the one spying. You discovered they were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. 
So it's your partner can tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. They don't trust here. They could have went spying on you and felt like you were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Taurus, your partner could be standing their ground and mean what they say concerning some type of coins here. Taurus, this is a peek at your partner for the week of September the 11th through September the 17th, 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.